Turn on your television, and you might think electric and hybrid cars are all the rage. 100% electric Nissan LEAF. Innovation for the planet. So doesn't it just make sense that we build an electric car that goes far? Maybe the whole time, the electric car has been waiting for this. It gives the world fewer smog-forming emissions. And now, there's a hybrid for everyone. The affordable Honda Insight. While the popularity of these vehicles is rising, because of high upfront costs, these cars are often considered to be luxury items. These costs can often be defrayed by numerous tax breaks and subsidies from both the California and federal governments. Well, there's a, two forms of tax benefits that you can get. One of them is called a credit, and that's dollar for dollar. Every dollar you spend or every dollar of the credit, you can take it directly off of what you pay the IRS. The other one is available as a rebate from the California Air Resources Board. It's actually being administered by another organization, but that's a $5,000 cash in your pocket kind of a uh, incentive. So if I bought a new Nissan LEAF, for example, I would get the $7,500 tax credit if I itemize my taxes, and I would also get this $5,000 uh, rebate from the state of California. So that would be like $12,500 discount on the price of that particular car. That car is over $30,000, so that discount would bring it down to around $20,000. There are more than just simple financial incentives to electric vehicle ownership. Many local communities and even private companies offer designated parking spaces with chargers specifically for electric and hybrid car owners. Governments and municipalities around the world are establishing strategic partnerships with us to develop the infrastructure and public acceptance necessary to make zero emission mobility commercially successful. We're really proponents of the electric vehicle category, um, and so the infrastructure is not as critical for a Volt as it is for other electrics, but it's going to allow the pleasability for the consumers. There is even a free application for the iPhone that is designated to help electric car owners find places where they can park and charge their vehicles. Hybrid and electric car owners in the Bay Area have additional perks such as discounted bridge tolls and in some cases unlimited access to high occupancy vehicle lanes. California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger is a noted proponent of the technologies that are bringing the cost of electric vehicles down. Many of these technologies have been developed here in California. They've been the first attended as governor in 2003 that show. And we had a press conference there. We had two alternative fuel vehicles. It was kind of the beginning. But this year, they had more than 50 alternative fuel vehicles. Think about that kind of a progress. Despite the interest in green technology, it's really the price of gasoline which is driving people to purchase electric vehicles. The number of members that we have that pay to join our organization is directly proportional to the gasoline prices. When the gasoline prices get high, our membership swells. As gas prices fall off, people don't renew. Governments are also interested in electric cars because they can bring jobs to local economies. And by the way, these aren't just any jobs. These are jobs in the industries of the future. Just a few years ago, American businesses manufactured only 2% of the world's advanced batteries for electric and hybrid vehicles. 2%. But because of what's happening in places like this, in just five years, we'll have up to 40% of the world's capacity. There are still several factors besides the cost that prevent new car buyers from considering electric vehicles. Consumers point to the limited range of use or a loss of style and amenities as reasons for continuing to purchase gasoline-powered vehicles. You don't have to be a martyr to you know, drive an electric vehicle. You don't have to suffer. You have all the creature comforts, the air conditioning, the heating, the stereo system, the navigation system, all of those little good things that people like to get in a car in addition to just basically getting from point A to point B. All of those are available in the electric car.